Hello everyone, my name's Jason, and welcome to the Knights of Gamerton One Soul on a Pole Challenge. So I noticed there haven't been any good Seven Days to Die challenges lately, so I decided I'd come up with one. And this one's a hell of a doozy. So, here's the setup. When we start a new game, we're going to leave everything set to default, with the exception of the Blood Moon frequency set to one day. And we've got the cheat mode turned on and drop on death to nothing. Everything else is going to be left default and we're going to be doing it in Nava's game. So, once you load into the game, the first thing you want to do is get rid of all the crap you started with. Because you're not going to need any of it. Next, open the creative menu. Type in leg or legendary. And grab one each of the five legendary weapons boxes. Next thing you want to do is get those arranged on your hot bar in whichever order you want them in. And then go back into the creative menu and get as much ammo for each as you want. There's no limits on how much ammo you can take into battle. You're not going to use it all anyway. Go ahead and take a sec to get all your weapons reloaded. And then head back into the creative menu and grab yourself a stack of steel cubes. Go ahead and drop that in your hot bar and then split the stack because you're going to need the standard cube shape and the bars. Next thing we're going to do is max out our level. Hit F1, type give self XP, all one word, put in a space, and hit one with nine zeros behind it. That'll max you out at level 300. Next thing you're going to do is spend some of those skill points. So open up your skill tree and max out each of the base attributes. Then go back to Perception, max out Deadeye, and the Penetrator. Under the Strength skill tree, max out Boomstick, Sexy Rexy, and Pack Mule so you're not weighed down by your ammo. Next in the Fortitude tree, max out Machine Gunner and healing factor. In the agility tree, max out gunslinger and run and gun. And don't max out anything in the intellect tree, just the base attribute. Next thing we need to do is build the base. Find yourself a nice level spot. If you can't, just drop one into a low spot, because it's better than having it floating off the ground. That just looks weird. Build a pole four blocks high, then ring the pole with steel bars. Next, enter God Mode to get back up to the top. Now we're going to set the day. Hit F1, type in set time, all one word. Put in a space, 1111, which is our day. Put in another space, a 20, another space, and two zeros. That'll take you to 8 o'clock on day 1111. Once you're all set and your weapons are reloaded, Hit escape with the debug menu on and you can set the time forward so that it's closer to the horde. Don't set it too close to the horde because you are going to need time to turn the debug menu off. And that's it. Now, the objective is to survive the horde for as long as you can. When you either die or your feet touch the ground, that attempt is over. So you mark down your time. Do a little bit of math and figure out how long you stayed alive. That's your first attempt. Then you repeat it two more times. I recommend restarting the game in between each one. Otherwise, by the time you get to the third Horde Night, you'll most likely be suffering a little bit of lag. Then at the end, when you've got all three times, you add them together. And once you've finished your third attempt and you have all three times, you tally them up. And that's your score. The best score you can get is 18 hours. Have fun and good luck. You're gonna need it.